and welcome to the Olio Fabrista weekly vlog number 101. As you can see, today is a nice day in Rotterdam. It's nice and warm outside, not too much wind, so that's very nice. Last week, in the weekend, I put up an extra video, the one about the mocha pot, and I always thought most of you are only interested in the audiophile part of this and every time I do some coffee um, there is some positive comments on them but in the video last week the short DIY that I did on the mocha pot I got a lot of positive reviews so this means that I will be doing more of them giving you a nice insights into the different kind of methods now somebody asked me, so why should I choose that method over another method? Now, that's not the way that I set up the video, but it's a very good question. And what I can say is that every method that I use will result in a different kind of taste. And that's the reason why you have all these things. Now, if you just pour water on your coffee and let gravity do the work as in a pour over you will get a different taste than when you force the water and high pressure through the coffee on something like a espresso machine so that's the reason that i'm doing all these different things okay so there's two things that i want to talk to you about today let's have a look at something new that i got in Okay, so what we have here is the Rega Mira 3 integrated amplifier that I picked up second hand. Now why did I need another amplifier? Well, of course I don't need one, but as you know, many of my stuff was breaking down here. the. Aitos mono amps are still out of order, still needing to be repaired, but that's always a costly business, so I always wait a little for before doing that. And I was playing the quad last week, as you have seen, but all those things have their little noises inside, mainly because they are a bit older. So I needed something that was a little bit younger and that I could use in case any of the other things break down again. So I picked up this Rega Mira 3 and I'm telling you, this thing really makes music. This is a very nice little amp. Now another reason that I picked up another amplifier, even though I already have a lot of amplifiers, is that I told you about, I had this, I have this budget that I'm wanting to use to every now and then buy and sell some new stuff. Well, secondhand, but new for the channel in order to show you some new stuff because everything that I have is of course what you already know. By the way, the background music is not background music. This is actually the loudspeakers playing at this very moment. Let me show you. And these are my, it's a little bit dark, ELAC BS-52s. And yes, somebody thought it was a good idea to call these BS loudspeakers. Well, they're not, but I am selling them because I bought them a long time ago for very cheap and very inexpensive, I have to say because I needed something on my computer rig. And now, of course, I have the little uh, Q acoustic loudspeakers there. So this one needs to go. And this budget that I was just talking about that I'm buying and selling stuff from, when I sell this, it will be added to that budget. So this will keep giving me some money to buy and sell stuff in order to get some new things on the channel. Okay, let's do a little mini review of the Rega Mira 3. 
So here you have the logo and actually this has two functions. Over here we have the on off button which has one function. Over here we have the volume knob which actually has three functions. Here we have the mute button which has two functions and here is the tape switch and that only has one function. How dare they? So what are these functions? Well, this is the logo so you know what kind of uh, equipment you are looking at and this is also the sensor for the remote control. Now the on off switch only one function but the volume knob has three functions so it is of course the volume knob and you see the red lights going up so one function is as a volume control let me put it down all the way if you push it once you can switch between all the different sources now interesting is they give you eight seconds after eight seconds it will stop where you are at that moment so probably they thought well if you want to change your source you will never need more than eight seconds and i'm using the cd input so let's uh, let's keep it over there now i told you about the mute button so of course i don't really have to show this but mute is turning off and on the sound but if you if you connect it with the volume knob it has another function so over here and i don't know if you can see the uh, broad daylight but if i push this one and then And that also gives you eight seconds so what it does when you uh, push the volume knob and you push the mute it will dim in three steps the brightness of the leds and you just saw if you rotate through that longer than eight seconds it will go to its original function which is mute and that's how it works so that is a little preview there's going to be an actual review, of course. But this is what I wanted to show you. Let's have a look at the rear. Okay, so from right to left, over here we have the connector for the power. Over here we have the loudspeaker binding posts. And then we have, of course, a phono. What would Rega be without record players? I'm using the CD input at the moment coming from the PS Audio DA converter. Then there is a tuner line in one, line two. There's a tape in out and there's a preamp out and a power amp in, meaning you can use this amp as an integrated amp. You can use it as a preamplifier or you can use it only as a power amplifier meaning you will be using another preamplifier let's turn this down a little bit I put the song on repeat so I won't have to do it in editing um, and also it's license free music so these are being sold even though the buyer stopped reacting so I don't really know if they are being sold but I have been playing these with the quad for a few days and that was okay but I have to tell you and there is going to be a review but I have to tell you this amplifier is extremely musical this is really a very very nice amplifier and I got it for a very nice price it is still very nice in um, the way that it looks it has some damages but fortunately not on the plastic front 
in many of the pictures if you go online on like these these corners or over there or over there you will see that the plastic is completely cracked but this one still looks beautiful okay so that's enough for my new toy the rega mira 3 if you have one let me know what are you playing it with what kind of loudspeakers oh let me finish my my story i was playing these with the quads that worked but this rega was able to get much more musical sound out of these loudspeakers so i was impressed with this thing i never had a rega in my house always wanted one and now i have one okay so here's the second thing that i wanted to talk to you about and do you ever you see i'm 55 in two weeks i become 56 and every now and then you get confronted with the fact that you are older than you maybe thought that you were and this week i had something uh, like that let me tell you a little bit of this story so first of all this is the book of lord of the rings this is the dutch uh, version and i have not read it but somehow i got this book at the time before the first movie came out there was a lot of people that did read it and wanted it very much to be turned into a movie and of course peter jackson at one time did this and friends of mine who liked the stories asked me as soon as this uh, movie came out first in cinemas they asked me will you come with us and of course i did i like movies having no idea about the story and we went to Belgium, Antwerp, to a cinema with a big, big screen, big sound. So it was a wonderful experience. I really, really loved it. After that, as soon as this came out on a DVD, I picked it up. That's what you do when you like movies. And at that time, DVD was the thing. So I picked up these movies and I've been enjoying them. And after that, of course, it came out on Blu-ray. So I picked up this wonderful box with all three movies on Blu-ray. This is a very nice edition. Sometimes these cardboard boxes are very flimsy, but this one is actually pretty sturdy. And it has all three movies in there and i've been enjoying these movies very often and already for a very long time and then suddenly you are in a thrift store going back to do you ever get confronted with the fact that you may be older than you thought that you were and i found lord of the rings on vhs and that was one of those moments that i thought wow already that long ago this movie came out because when i watch it on um, blu-ray in this very very nice very uh, good quality sound and image it feels like these things have been made just a few years ago but they haven't they are on the market well at least the first one for a very very long time so that was my moment of realizing well maybe 56 is a bit older than i thought that i were so let me know in the comment section if you have ever had some of these moments that you find a cd or a movie and you realize wow that was a long time ago and i was there when it came out new Okay, so that is what I wanted to share with you today. Now, let's finish up the vlog. Okay, wonderful people. Thank you for watching. Today is Friday, so I'm wishing you a very, very nice weekend. And I'll see you next week.